Greetings and welcome to another video in our series about Voice Attack, the Elite VA plugin and Elite Dangerous. In this episode, we're going to have a look at Fire Groups. This is kind of an extension of the Auto Honk command we did in earlier episodes. But this is more about how to cycle through your Fire Groups using either your voice or other commands such as the Auto Honk. But let's have a look at the command we're going to use to cycle through the Fire Groups. Now, if you're going to follow along at home, you will need two files. One will be the status.txt file and the other one will be your bindings.txt file. Because we're going to need these for some of the variables. We have a look at the actual command itself. I'll put this in the called command section because we're going to call it from other commands. The first action is do nothing, which stops the commands showing up in the voice attack log window. So now we set a temporary variable to be the current fire group, in this case, FG temp position, and we get that from the elite API as a fire group variable, which is in the status.txt file. So it's quicker to set a temporary variable than wait for the game to update the plugin, the plugin to update voice attack. It just speeds it up massively. We then need to work out how many positions we need to move either left or right on the fire groups. We set up another variable, loop count, to be the same as the current fire group. And then we use a variable from another command, which we use to call this command we're in. And we subtract that from the current loop count. And we'll get to that in a minute. I'll show you how that works. The next thing we want to do is then move to the correct fire group. So we need to know whether our temporary position is greater or less than the position we want to be in, i.e. the required FG. So now we just work out whether we need to go left or right. So if the temporary position is greater than the required position, we loop X times pressing the cycle fire group previous key. If the temporary position is less than the required position, we loop X number of times pressing the fire group next key. This may not make much sense, but it does work. Okay, it does work. I've tested it and I've tested it and I've tested it. So how do we actually make use of this command? Well, if we come out of that. And in the best repeater fashion, here's something I made earlier. This is just purely to test the fire group's work. So we've got the voice trigger up the top, which is fire group, and then we're using A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H to match the fire groups in the game. And all we're doing is just saying if segment one, which is that segment there, is equal to either A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or H, we set a variable, in this case the required FG variable, to be either 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, or 7, which then would set our required fire group position that we use in the fire group swap command. So whichever letter we use in the command, it will set the required FG value to the appropriate number. And then when we go into, there we go. so when we run this command, that's where that comes in. So let's see it in action, shall we? Wake up voice attack. I can give the command to a fire group and in any of those positions, and it should just go straight to them. Fire group E. Fire group D. Fire group H. Fire group B. That's just voice attack. B and E would sound very, very similar. But if this is only this is purely for testing, so it's not too much of a problem. Fire group B. Fire group C. Fire group A. Fire group G. Fire group H. 
fire group E, fire group C, fire group D, fire group B. And you can see we can move around the fire groups just by using our voice. Right then, let's go back into the main bit, clear that out of there. So if you want to use it in another command, say for the auto honk or a separate command to fire off the discovery scanner, we can do. So what we can do is we go into here. So we've got, let me close that up for a minute and close that up. We've got ship commands. We have one here that I made called discovery scan. That's just a voice trigger. You can have whatever you fancy in there. I set do nothing so it doesn't pop up in the voice act log window. We now set our required fire group value to be zero, which is the fire group I put my discovery scan out on all my ships. We then execute the fire group swap command, which will put the fire group to the correct position. And in this case, I then want to set whether the trigger is either on the primary or the secondary. So that sets disco trigger to primary. And then do a little check to say if disco trigger equals primary, press and hold the primary fire button for seven seconds. Else, if the disco trigger is set to sec, it will press a secondary trigger for seven seconds. So let's give it a test. Discovery scan. There we go, we've gone to the correct fire group and we've fired off the discovery scanner. If we cycle through our fire groups, put it to F. If we can do it while it's on this screen. Discovery scan. There we go. We can see it moves to the correct fire group and it fires off the discovery scanner. Yeah. You could do that for any command you want. All you need to do is just set the required FG variable to be the fire group position you want it to be in. So what we could do is if I go, let's put the discovery scanner in that one there on figure two. And we go back into voice attack. Go to discovery scanner. We can then say, what one did we put it on? What you need to do is remember that the fire groups go from zero to seven inside the game. We see them as eight to H on there. So zero, one, two, three, four. So our required fire group will be four. And then we set the trigger to be the secondary trigger. So we just change this here to back. Okay, that, okay, that. And then we do done. Pop back into the game and the fire group is currently on B. Discovery scan. And it's working. There you go. I'm just going to go and change it back because otherwise I'll get confused later on down the line. I'll change that back to four. Okay, that. And then I want to change that back to primary. So with the auto honk, which I referred to earlier, we find where that is. So we're doing the same thing basically. Do nothing. It doesn't show in the voice tag log window. Because this is an automated command, we only want this action to happen if we're in explore mode. 
which is what this is doing. So if auto honk equals true, we'll set the required fire group to zero in this case, because that's what we want it to be. And then we can set the trigger again, in this case, to primary. Move the fire group to the correct one by executing the fire group swap command. That comes back and then we do, if it's the primary trigger, we press the primary button for seven seconds. And if it's a secondary trigger, we press the secondary fire for seven seconds. That's it. That means it's in the discovery scanner command. And this is a lot neater and tidier than the other method we went through in the earlier episode of Auto Honk and Auto Honk Part 2. It just shows how you can do the same thing in different ways. And some things are slightly more efficient than others. They're not wrong necessarily, they're just different. So hopefully you can see now how you can use that to move through your fire groups either by voice or by having another command to call it to move your fire groups into the correct position. The one thing I've got it to do is, is when I'm flying down to planet surface to do exobiology, amongst other things, once mass lock pops up, it will make sure that my fire group is on the composition scanner, ready to take a sample for the codex. So another thing you could do, for example, is if you got interdicted, you could have your profile make sure that you're on the correct weapons fire group if you wanted to engage in combat. So there you go, that's how you can use your voice or other commands to move your fire groups. Have a play and see what you can come up with. If you have any questions, comments, ideas, what do you think, put them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you've enjoyed the video or found it useful, click the like button and if you haven't already, hit the subscribe to and share the video out. Until the next one, take care and I'll see you soon. Toodles!